Natalie and welcome back to my sewing vlog The Seaside Sewist. Today's video is all about my May plans so let's get on with it. So my first plan for May is the I Am Irma shirt and dress. Um, so you've got the high low hem of the shirt dress. Um, there is a longer shirt and then a normal shirt that either has normal sleeves or like a balloon sleeve. I haven't had a good look through this yet so I haven't done measurements or anything like that. I'm thinking of just making one of the shirts whether I go for the um, normal sleeve or the balloon sleeve I'm not sure yet. So for oh, it's all in foreign. There we are. That's not the wrong part. So it goes from sizes thirty six up to forty six, so not a huge size range. So size 36 is bust of 32 and a quarter, waist of 24 and a half, hip of 34 and 5 eighths. And then the 46 goes uh, bust of 40 and an eighth, waist of 32 and a quarter and hip of 42 and a half. So at a quick glance there, I probably would go for the size 40 but I'll have to have a look at the finished garment measurement and see what I think of that so this was gifted to me as part of the Minerva ambassador team and the fabric that I'm going to make this in is also from Minerva but it's top secret at the minute when the fabric comes through I will show you that but at the minute I can't show you what this is going to be made in. My next plan is to make for me an Old Faithful. Now it is the Tilly and the Buttons Stevie but I'm just going to make the top version. The Tilly and the Buttons Stevie was the first thing that I made that I actually wore out in public. Um, and it was made in, I think it was a Lady McElroy cotton lawn and I took it to London and I remember putting it on one morning to wear out in London and thinking, I was, I felt quite vulnerable in it, you know, I've made this, are people going to look at me in the street and laugh at me because I've made something to wear and it was just I went out and it was quite liberating actually to just be out in something that nobody else had. So as I say, there's there is two versions. There's like the sorry, the tunic top. Oh, there's the lights making that go funny. There's like either the tunic, which the models got on here, or the top version, which is what I'm going to make. Um, so. The, this pattern is Tilly does sizes 1 to 8 this is an old pattern I think it's actually a bigger size range now but the, the one that I've got is, is this one um, and I usually make the Tilly and the Buttons size 2 so I think I've made a 3 well look at the fabric that I'm going to use first so I'm going to use this fabric from um, Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn which is like a viscose crepe so because it's a crepe and it's got drape to it it's going to hang a lot differently to how this garment hangs when it's in a more structured fabric so if I go for the size 3 this can look quite too oversized so I think definitely the size 2 but I think I'll remeasure because I haven't worn that 
Um, I haven't made that garment for over a year, I think. So that is that plan. So my third plan is actually for a family wedding that we're going to in September. Now, I don't know whether I'm making this as a wearable toile or whether I'll be happy with the finished look. But I'm thinking if I make it in May, um, I know you're probably sick of me hearing, hearing me going on about Paris, but if I make this dress and I like it, I actually might buy some really nice fabric in Paris to remake it for the wedding. So I'm going to make the Elsie dress from Sew Over It. So you can either make it as a skirt or a dress and as you can see it's quite fitted with these sort of big pleats in the skirt. So this goes from sizes 8 to 20 um, and these are actually in centimetres. Oh there we are there's inches so eight being a bust of 33 waist of 26 hip of 36 and the 20 being a bust of 45 a waist of 38 and a hip of 48 so I haven't measured yet but it's kind of looking um, at the size 10 I think I might have to grey it out um, so fa fabric recommendations are medium to heavyweight fabrics with structure such as brocade, jacquard, stretch cotton or cotton sateen. You will also need a 22 inch concealed zip for version 1 which is what I'm doing. Um, I've never done a concealed zip so that is going to be fun so that's why this is probably going to be a wearable twirl. So I'm going to make this in... Um, a cotton sateen that I bought from Lamazi Fabrics oh god Boxing Day probably three or four years ago it was like right at the beginning of my dressmaking journey and it is this beautiful cotton sateen I think it's on a black background it's a black background with these sort of bouquets of flowers on so it's not it's got a bit of drape to it but it's not massively drapey so I'm thinking it'll hold those sort of pleats quite well. Um, I think I've got two metres so I, I think I've got enough but I'm, I might have to check because I've, it's got a lined, it's sort of a half lined bodice and um, there's a lot of sections to cut out and the skirt pieces are quite big so I might not get it out of this or I might have to line it I might have to line the bodice with something different so any tips for making that dress would be greatly appreciated or in certain concealed zips I'm thinking that means also invisible zip so as I say I've never done that before so that is going to be a new one on me. So if I can get that dress made up in May, I can decide if that's the dress that is going to be for the wedding. And then when I'm in Paris, if I see something like a brocade or a jacquard that I think would look stunning in that um, pattern, then I can buy that. I've still got my fabric de stash going on over on my Instagram so I'll put the details of that in the description box anything that I make for my de-stash is to go towards fabric in Paris so if you would like to go over and support me um, and I'm hoping to be able to do um, a, a lovely little vlog in Paris of the fabric shops and the ateliers and and things like that to show you when I get back so that'll be fun so that is it for my May plans. Um, how are we in May already nearly? I think it's the 29th of April that I'm filming this. How is How are we nearly in May? Time goes nowhere. So that is it for my May plans. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like to see more from me and also give me a, a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video that helps YouTube to share to other like-minded viewers um, and the more the merrier
come on over and join the crazy sewing waffly club <laughs> right uh, until next time thanks for watching bye